This here is the Inso One from Homini, the latest VR glasses. No other channel has them yet but MRTV. I'm going to tell you all about it and I'm going to go hands on for the very first time. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. 2019 is an unbelievable year for virtual reality. So many new headsets are coming out. It is simply incredible. And so many new people will get into virtual reality. So in this year, we already have the Oculus Rift S, which is going to come out. Then HTC Vive is going to come out with their Vive Cosmos headset. We have heard about the HP Reverb. And of course, now the Valve Index is going to come out in 2019, probably in May 2019. But I'm so glad to tell you that I just have received this here. And this is the Insel One from Homini from Homini. So what is this headset all about? Well, we've heard about all these new amazing VR glasses, the, the Rift S and the Reverb and the Cosmos and all and, and so on and so forth. But there is one problem with all these headsets. And the big problem is they are using LCD panels. And as we know, for LCD panels, we have really, really bad black values. This is where Homini stepped into the game. They say, hello, you know what? The black values, this is a big problem, especially for the VR enthusiast who really want to have deep and dark blacks. And therefore they came out with this here, the Insta one, and they claim, they claim it has the best black values on the whole market. Well, I'm here to find out. So they sent me their latest prototype, which is this here. And I'm going to check out for, for you. Is it true? Does the Insta One really have the very best black values on the market? I'm going to check it out for you. But before I do so, before I check it out for you, I'm going to show you the device. I'm going to show you what is special about it. And there are quite some things which are indeed special about the Insta One. So let's start with it. First of all, it is very, it is truly, truly a comfortable headset. I would, I would say, well, I will tell you later what I think about it. Let me sh first show it to you. So first of all, check this out. It is completely um, a different kind of setup as compared to what we know from the VR headsets that we've seen until now. Uh, it is made out of cloth. The whole thing is made out of cloth. And it's very, very light. I would say it is probably under 100 grams. And that is simply amazing compared to all the other headsets. I would say the lightest is probably, I don't know, like 300 grams. But this here, weighing less than 100 grams, it totally kills all the other headsets. So that is a big, big thumbs up here from MRTV. So also, because it's made of cloth, what you can do here, you can simply fold it. You can simply fold it like this. And as you can see, you can bring it anywhere. You can simply bring it anywhere and enjoy the, the black levels, the really dark black levels. Well, as they claim, I'm going to find out very soon. You can enjoy those black levels anywhere. So think about it. You, you probably, if, if you, for example, go to um, have a vacation, yeah, for if you want to have some entertainment in the in the plane, you can bring this. Or if you go to the beach and you don't want to, yeah, you don't want to um, have all the sun in your face, right? Perfect. Or as well, if you if you go trekking, if you go hiking, yeah, you can bring this anywhere. You can bring this anywhere, and you can wear it anywhere, and you can enjoy the, yeah, better black levels as with the Rift for sure. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people love the Rift. But it seems that this device even has better black levels. Anyways, um, yeah, so you can fold it up like this and bring it anywhere. But now let's have a look at, at the lenses. And I, I know that you are very excited about the lenses. Check this out. 
check this out. First of all, let's have a look at this area here, which gets in touch with your face. So if you look at it, it's, uh, it's some kind of very, very velvety material and it's very, very soft. It feels amazing and uh, I think it already looks really comfortable. Just looking at it, I believe that you would believe me that this is really comfortable, but I'm going to go face on in a moment and then I'm going to let you know what I really think. Also, the lenses. It is a complete new technology. Have a look. You, you can barely see them. You can barely see the lenses. You directly look at the display and also the display, it's pitch black. And therefore, only looking at it, you can already believe the claim of Homini that these, these displays can display the best blacks even better than OLED displays. Because, well, the pixels, actually, they, they seem to not emit any light. And also, as what the subpixel structure is concerned, you know, with OLED, we have Pentile, which is like two subpixels per pixel. But with this new technology from Homini, actually what they claim is they have 16 subpixels per pixel, which of course means you have more pixels and therefore less light that can shine through those pixels. So therefore better blacks. Well, that's what they claim at least. I'm going to check it out now for you for the very first time here on MRTV. So you know what? Let's do this. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my friggin' goodness. This is super, super comfortable. I would say these are the most comfortable VR headsets, VR glasses that I've ever worn here on the channel. And you know, I've worn lots of, lots of VR glasses, but they are light and they have these this nice touch to the to the to your to your face wow it's it's amazing and now let me tell you about the black levels they did not lie the black levels are unprecedented it's like pitch black it is it is so black oh my goodness let me let me think about like like how could i um explain this to you let's say in the middle of the night, you want to go and have a dump, right? So you go to the toilet and you have one of these toilets which does not have a window inside, right? So you're in the middle of, of what you want to do there and then suddenly the light turns off. Boom! This is how black these glasses are. Are you friggin' kidding me? Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Wow. Wow. Really, really, really amazing. So they did not lie when they say they have the best black levels on the market. Of course, you want to know what kind of games you can play on the Inso one from Homini. And let me tell you, that's also something very special. You don't need to play the games anymore on Steam VR or Vive Port Infinity or any of those stores. Oculus, no, nothing, nothing like this because they have a completely new way how you play games. You're even more immersed and the reason is because everything is happening in your brain, directly in your brain. So you don't need the eye interface actually, you don't need it anymore. And that is pretty, pretty amazing. And as what the games are concerned, there are so many games and every game is different. Whenever you start the game, it is pretty, pretty unbelievable. But now let me show you that. Half-Life 3 VR. 
And there you have it. This is the first hands-on review of the Inso One by Homini. Of course, you will get all the details about the Inso One from Homini here on MRTV. This can only be a first hands-on. Of course, I need to get more into depth. I heard there's lots of more games that you can play, all kinds of games, you know, and therefore I really need to check this out first before I can give you the final verdict. I believe that this here, the Inso One from Homini is going to take the market by storm. And finally, finally, we have a device that will take the mass market because as you can tell, this is a standalone device, right? You, don't need, you do not need any kind of computer for it. You do not need a console. You, don't, you do not need a phone. It simply works out of the box. Even it seems like even without uh, batteries or so. I don't know exactly how they do it, but so far, I did not have to recharge anything here in my whole hands-on time with the Homini. And I think that Valve, Oculus, HTC, and so on, they should be really, really scared right now. All right, that's everything I got for the Inso One from Homini. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Inso One from Homini. Are you going to get it? Are you going to forget about Rift S, Quest, Valve Index and instead go for the Inso One from Homini? Please do let me know in the comment section below. And now I look forward to see you in the next episode.